What's up guys? You're about to watch week three. I'm sure you're gonna like it or like I hope you like it. As I'm editing, I always notice that I start to like the vlog about three or four minutes through, but I'm not about to cut off Monday and Tuesday just because I feel like I haven't warmed up to it yet. So I don't know. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but that's just how I've seemed to feel. And if you like this video, like the video. Whenever you get to that point, you're like, oh yeah, this is a good one. Then press thumbs up, but you know, don't do it prematurely. I would never ask that upon you. <laughs> All right, I need to go. So be here without come. Hey, if it ain't all about the income. Hey, if you driving around in some traffic. We're getting up. And this is Tyra. Hi. <laughs> and <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm back in bed. This is the beginning of week two vlog of summer 2018. What's up guys? <laughs> We're going out for now the second time today to participate in the real world. Which <laughs> might not seem like that bad, but I slept in till 1.30 p.m. Same. And then we were just gonna sit and watch TV all day. We decided no. So tonight we are going to a art gallery party. We'll I, I don't know how long I'm gonna last. <laughs> I'm already ready to go back onto the couch and watch Bojack Horseman, but... Before that, we're gonna grab a bite. <laughs> okay. Which is much needed. <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday, and today I woke up feeling sick. I don't know, my roommate's sick, so maybe I got it from her. I'm honestly not sure. Today is ketchup day. I'm about to get myself a nice hot cup of tea. Soothe my throat. Outfit of the day. Black jacket, courtesy of Liza Denim, custom. White t-shirt, this is a sample of my own. Some jeans, white sneakers. Bag from Kara. And I got my sunglasses in my pocket. The sun came out, so that's good. That'll make me feel a wee bit better, I hope. And you guys are sick right now because it's a weird time to be sick. Maybe it's not because the weather's changing. Cleaning my room. It's a little bit disastrous. Could be worse, but. He said to his doctor, hey doctor, sometimes I get nervous on airplanes. And the doctor just wrote him a Xanax prescription. Love how my body looks in the morning. You know when you like you wake up and you're like, oh, oh okay. Okay, how are you doing, girl? Pretty. I'm excited for today. I was a little messy yesterday because I was feeling, I'm feeling better than I did yesterday, but my voice sounds worse today. Um, but I'm excited because today is my first day of school. Um, shout out to cuts on your knees. Don't be a dummy like me. I literally keep like steady bruises and cuts on my legs all the time. So my hand's getting tired. How do people do this? This is a new way of holding the vlog camera. It's a little weird because you have my arm in it. Kind of stable though. We're practicing. We're practicing, we're learning. I'm ready for the critiques. I want people to grill me because I want to get better at vlogging. Oh my God, I'm such a lazy person right now. Oh my God, I'm reminding myself so much of my ex-boyfriend today. It's really strange because like when I was looking in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, girl, you're looking so cute. He would say that to me in that voice, but that's like an inside joke, so like you probably just thought I was saying that and sounding like a little bit of a narcissist, but I don't know, but like, I'm so tired. Oh my God, how do people do this? We'll talk to each other that way. Um, and it's freaky, it's freaky, because we haven't talked in so long. Sorry, I just got a text message. This is good news. This is more than I can talk to the vlog. So I got this purse, right? Um, I'm absolutely obsessed. I got this purse. Um, and it's a little flower pail bag, it's got like a seatbelt strap, I've showed it in a few videos, and my aunt saw it when she came to visit me, and she was obsessed with it, so she just bought one for herself, and she's like, I just got this Ale Alexander Wang bag, and I just haven't been using it, and she's like, I'm not gonna return it, I'd rather just send it to you and you can have it, and I need a new tote bag for school, so I'm gonna have this like nice bag, she's just sending it to me, shout out family, I'm so excited. Yeah, she's like, well, you inspired me to get a purse. The least I can do is give you the old one. And in my head, I was like, that math doesn't add up, but like, thank you. Back from the coffee shop with John. I'm dressed. I'm wearing this nurse style sweater with like a tube top and a black skirt underneath. For eyeshadow, I use this palette from Flower Beauty. And the name of it is 
Austin, downtown Dusk. I think each one is like named after a city, so this is Austin. So does this give you Texas vibes? I don't know. It gives me first day of class vibes. I'll see you after class. This is my artist and entrepreneurship. Artist as entrepreneurs. I think that's the name of the class. Artist as entrepreneurs. Learning how to make money as an artist. We love Parsons. Woo! I changed my outfit. I'm definitely sick. I can't wait to go to bed tonight. I don't know, but it's just, I'm just much better at kind of like doing my own. And now I'm, I'm using um, turpinoid, you know, at, at, because it's impossible to ship. And so I remember um, driving into the town with, uh, with students, but they were friends around from gas station to gas station getting whatever solvent they had. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what part of town I'm in. Broadway and 36 to so like Midtown, kind of near Madison Square Park, I think is where I am. Look at the sky right now. Oh, I need to take a photo of that after I'm done vlogging. I actually am gonna take a photo of it now just in case it goes away. My class is so good though, just as good as this cloud passing by. We met with Melanie Ream, who's an illustrator, and we went to her studio and got to peek through her drawings, which I filmed a little bit of her books, and then we went to Elizabeth Foundation for the Arts and talked about their open studios and how that process works, because if you're an artist and you want a studio, they're quite expensive to rent in the city, however, the Elizabeth Foundation makes it very affordable, and they have a limited number of spots that are available every year, and they kick out a certain number of artists and bring in that same amount of new artists based on a jury system where you send in your art in a personal statement and they don't know anything about you, they don't know your gender, nothing. And then they pick you and then you get to have a studio there for like $350 a month, which is absolutely absurd. So it's cool to just know about these places and if you're interested, I will have information on stuff like this. Sorry, I thought someone was about to steal my backpack. I will link information related to those things down below if you're interested. These three guys are walking by. And he goes, I swear to God, David, if she doesn't have my sweatshirt, I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. And he's like, she will, dude, she will. I also made a mistake. I'm not sure if I'm gonna insert the vlog clip that I just talked about for my class, but I was like, I don't know where I am right now. I think I'm in Madison Square Park. No, now I'm by Madison Square Park. I was nowhere near it before. Madison Square Park is near Flatiron, which is this building right here. I'm taking a little break because I passed six city bike stops and they're all empty and I've just gotten tired because my backpack's quite heavy and I haven't felt well today. So we're just resting. I'm just on Instagram, so that's where what, what I'm doing. I was going to say that's where we are, but I don't know where you are. Where are you? Good morning. Uh, my behavior has been bizarre this morning. Woke up at 6.45 feeling wide awake and confused by it because... I didn't get the normal eight hours of sleep that I try to get. I also had a ravenous appetite for savory food. I had some leftover ravioli in my fridge, even though I'm going to a 9.30 breakfast, which is gonna feel like a lunch. I watched a stand-up comedy uh, session routine on Netflix, weird. Um, not that it's weird to watch stand-up comedy, but just I wanted to eat pasta and watch stand-up today at 7 a.m. It felt right though, it felt right. Oh, I could do a cute eyeshadow look that could eat up 15 minutes, which ugh, I'm gonna do this sunset eyes that I did in my eye makeup tutorial, which was such a cute video. It truly didn't get the views it deserved. I get it, I don't make makeup videos. Why would anyone click on it? I, don't, I haven't made a makeup video in years. So like, lose weight to live long. I'm not sure now that I know for sure. making fun of fat people right now. Like, All right, stop it, stop it, sir. Rob Sogora. I'm so mad, I went to New Jersey for Memorial Day weekend and I lost a diamond earring. Okay, those were my graduation gift and I took out this one, but I'm missing this one, and it's this size, and I'm never gonna find it. This is my eyeshadow look. 
sunset eyes tutorial link down below it's so easy guys it's two eyeshadows that was such a little like dead person for the last day and a half today i wake up like bouncing off the walls i feel like an explanation point today and i don't i don't not want to be one i'm just a little shocked as to why to clarify it was tom segura segura wow look at this this is perfect thank you Finished my breakfast with Dote. Shout out to the Dote shopping app. You guys, the best shopping app I've ever used in my whole life. Literally changed the game for online shopping. I ordered a pizza. What the hell is wrong with me? I mean, granted it was a breakfast pizza, but I'm telling you, ravioli and pizza, it's, it's 10.30 a.m. But I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna film another video. So that'll be, that'll be good. We love, we love videos here on this channel. <laughs> oh my god okay next one yeah i won't I, these haven't been edited yet with john's touch <laughs> i'm so excited yeah fruit's so so beautiful john john i'm so excited I'm making new thumbnails for my channel, so right now I'm gonna redo this one because I think I can do something better. Where's my channel? Come on. Let it happen. How do I go to my channel? This is my new vlog. Oh, I love this video. Okay, so this is the newest thumbnail and I love this video But this needs a new thumbnail, so I'm redoing this one. I'm gonna redo this one. I'll probably keep this one the way it is And then I'm fine with this. I like this These are fine, too Wait, I want to see what you're doing. Okay, so so yeah. I'm very passionate about Lisa Frank, and this is a very heartfelt lighter for Lexi. I mean, it is her lighter. Okay. So, oh, you did unicorns. I like the front. Oh, little Bambi. Oh, oh, I, yeah, I have a deer on my phone. So, I feel like if Lexi was an animal, it would be Bambi. Also, look at John's phone case. It's really, really fun to play with. Um, am I gonna get to show my phone case? She already did. Oh yeah, I did. Well, I, I showed the unicorn. Show. I just no, I just. Oh added. my god. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Where's my phone case? That's People ask me where my phone case is from, and it's just a playing card. Like, it's a clear phone case that I put a playing card that I found on the street in. DIY. Queen. You won't guess in a million years who is in my apartment right now. Wait. <laughs> Prepping? Looking at myself in the Oh my god, it's just like old times. The one, the only, Jack Barron. Holy f and I love you so much. There's um there's some bigger news coming. I fucking hope so. Wow. wow! Wow! Did I mention that I was feeling like an explanation point earlier this morning? Because it's past midnight and I'm feeling that way again. Dropped Jack off at Union Square. Got a new tripod at Best Buy. Um, set off the alarm at Best Buy. I will say 50% of it was my fault. We oh, tried wow. to go to a movie, but even though this is the city that never sleeps, it sleeps. The movie theaters sleep. It was barely midnight. Barely. I could not it was find like a movie theater now. in all of the city. We were gonna go see Ocean's Eight. What's it about? Um, my nose. It's like. It's, they it's say that means like someone's million, talking like, about you in another oh, place I mean, if your nose itches. Yeah, yeah. And it's the top part right here. And the bottom part. I think I actually just have allergies. I don't think anyone's gossiping about me. Can I let you in on a secret? I don't know if I've talked about my finances before, but I have this dream. I don't want to say the school, but like to, after I'm done with Parsons, there's another school that I really want to go to. I want to put myself through school, and so I want to make YouTube videos and like have fun now to like be be a mental health doctor in the future and I that's my dream right now doesn't that, doesn't that seem silly and doesn't that seem like that's not the path I'm on 
but I was, I get like excited thinking about it. I think ever, it's just because I have a therapist and I want to be her. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. But I've been thinking about this for a long time and in my head for some reason I have this stigma around girls who study psychology because it has that stigma like oh my god like you're just every girl thinks psychology is interesting it's like yeah because psychology is so interesting like with good reason it's fascinating to learn about the brain um but oh my god to be a doctor to be a mental health doctor is I would love to learn but it's so much time and it's so much money oh but then what do I do about babies when do I have babies then I'm on my way to class. We're near the High Line and we're meeting with another artist today. So I'm really excited. I'm shooting with a photographer who I have a really funny story about how it came about. But I'll talk about that when I'm home. Please look at this. This is a smoke shop where obviously they sell things. But one of their things is medical grade apparatus, sterile urine killer. Do you want to say anything to the vlog? Do you want right. to, should we elaborate on how this came about? Okay, so I was at Bauhaus eating a nice bao bun with my friend Hayden. And there's a business card sitting in front of us and it just like looks funky. So I pick it up and I flip it over and there's a number and a website and and my friend who works at Bauhaus is like, no, you should text it. That'd be so funny. Like say something like, what up my guy and so I text the number and I'm like what up my guy instantly get a response like who's this and then I said I said something stupid I was like 50 cent yeah you said you were 50 cent Wait, I was... pause we're going over the bridge right now it's really nice okay um, so when you said you were 50 cent I thought you were someone that like probably bullied me in high school and found my new number and was fucking with me no. and I was like god damn it no, no, and then I just continued and I was like, all right, I found your business card at Bauhaus. That What's I had up? left there that day. And it's the only time I've ever left a business card randomly anywhere in my life. Next thing you know, we're meeting up. We're, we just took photos in the karaoke bar that I was at like a few days ago. They're really funny. Um, there's some cool ones in there. And now we're driving to Rockaway Beach. We made it to the beach. It's way too dark, just trust me. Guys, this is just the absolute best. I am spending my day in bed. I mean, I got, I'm got i back in bed is what I'm trying to say. Um, got up, did my thing. Back here, it's like maybe 3 p.m. And I have these windows. Oh my God. And look at my friend. We love Callie Kaiser. Um, I think she's the best. And... Um, I've basically been going back and forth between watching stand-up comedy on my TV, listening to music on my phone, and watching YouTube on my laptop, and it's just absolutely perfect. I um, am waiting until, is it 3 o'clock yet? Okay, I have four more minutes until 3. When it's 3 o'clock, I have to call the bank back and try to get in touch with someone to get a student loan. Let's see if my advisor has emailed me back. I don't mind waiting for people. Oh my god, and my t-shirts! Guys, did I announce that I'm I'm selling I Like My Mind more than my t-shirts right now this week? Absolutely perfect for a summer night to throw over top of your bathing suit. That's what I'm imagining you wearing it in, or wearing it for, or wearing it with. Um, oh, I was going to check my email to see if my advisor emailed me back about classes, and she didn't. It's okay. Outfit of the night for this rooftop dinner party is so comfortable and I have no makeup and no no like hair done at all. I have messy bedhead. I think I'm wearing the crummiest jean shorts right now. But because I have it with this silk top and I've got some necklaces and heels, you're not even paying attention to it. And I have no makeup. Um, all you have to do is then throw on a purse, 
and I've got sunglasses as well in your pocket. Sorry if this footage is shaky. And I also just missed my pocket. Look at that. I look so much more dressed up than I am. Tyra truly outdid herself. I love adulthood. I love it too. It's so much fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, like the video. And if you want to catch me in the meantime, I'm on Instagram. My Instagram's at Lexi. And I will see you next week with a semester one reflection. And then after that, it'll be vlog week four. Bye. Thanks for watching.